Once the National Basketball Association stopped playing games last March because of the pandemic, leaks across the world followed the lead. And that included youth sports organizations across the country. But unlike the pros, kids need their parents okay to get back on the field. Not all parents are convinced it could be done safely again. WECT's Bob Bonner takes a look at how it can be done and how the numbers are proving it. I anticipate that we will be able to lift all mandatory social distancing, capacity, and mass gathering restrictions by June the 1st. When Governor Roy Cooper made that announcement last week, it confirmed what many were already starting to feel. North Carolina is getting back to normal. And normal was something that many haven't felt in more than a year. One group in particular are kids who have had their educational and social lives turned upside down. And that too appears to be changing. Well, I think we just look at the data and now there's been a lot of sports experiences throughout and particularly for outside sports. It's been shown that the environment is a lot safer. Much like the rest of society, youth sports were sidelined last spring, but as seasons and understanding of the pandemic changed, kids slowly returned to the fields and now they're coming out in huge numbers. They weren't going to score normal. They weren't seeing their parents normal at home. Parents were stressed. Um, luckily, we've been a saving I, I get thank you after thank you for at least doing something. I got quite a few phone calls, quite a few emails uh, in anticipation of, all right, what's next? Um, what can I do with my child? Um, because we want to give those parents a break. Youth sports leagues across the area have seen an increase in numbers since the fall season, and the numbers for the current spring are on par or even better than they were in 2019. This season, spring of 2021, we have uh, over 1,700 kids playing at four different locations, and uh, it's it's been a fantastic turnout. Started in June, we had 40 per, about 40 percent participation based on our regular numbers. Um, we had 900 kids in the fall. We have. 1,500 now, regular season we have about 1,800. Time has played a huge role in the increase in enrollment numbers. It's allowed for significant thought on just how to run the league safely. It's something that Dr. Philip Brown, the chief physician at New Hanover Regional Medical Center, believes can be done, especially when you consider the games are being played outside. There is a world of difference in the safety between outdoor events, which are much safer, and indoor events, uh, which carry more risk. Certainly anytime we're indoors, we still need to be wearing masks, but when we're outdoors and can, can space, really masks are not as critical. For parents, safety was in the leadoff spot when it came to questions about letting their children return to the field, and the importance of their kids getting a chance to just be kids wasn't far behind. And I could just tell he was um, tired of being in the house. He, at the beginning, he wanted to go see friends, and we had to explain to him, you can't go see friends. Um, we had a couple people in the neighborhood, they could play outside, but they couldn't come inside. So I think he was excited just to be around other kids and be doing something constructive. With all of the safety measure boxes checked, the goal is to simply play the games like they've always been played. And so far, they're passing the eye test. I had to tell coaches, like, don't, don't worry about soccer. It's not about soccer right now. It's about the kids interacting with other kids. And soccer will come, but at this time, we just need to let the kids be kids. Maybe parents are cheering a little bit louder these days because it is so nice to be back out and having fun, you know, uh, enjoying beautiful days like today and uh, just soaking it all in. In Wilmington, Bob Bonner, WECT News. Now, while they are taking precautions, nothing is 100%, and some children have tested positive during a season. When it happens, families let the coach know and contact tracing is done and everyone involved sits out in quarantines and then returns to the lineup. And if you're considering getting your child involved, do it sooner rather than later because spots for the summer and fall are filling up quickly.